In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a ship in Minecraft. Now this one's body is based off of a caravel and actually with the sail plan I've gone for a schooner so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and give a bit of variation with the ships that I'm making. Now if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys if you want more ship tutorials I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full playlist. Okay, so here we are on my flat world. So what I'm gonna do in this part of it is talk you guys through how long, how wide, how tall, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, if you do wanna build it in this box to try and figure out where you're gonna place it, I'm also gonna be going through all of that and how many blocks underwater. So to get onto the first part, it is a total of 23 blocks long from end to end. That includes the blocks sticking out here, the actual sail that we've got, but the actual back, is um, yeah one block in from that from that side and the front of course that is right to the bowsprit this one's got a very very small bowsprit on it but right onto it there in terms of its width it is nine blocks wide um, so it's nine blocks wide in total that includes the sail coming out uh, the ship itself I think is seven let's have a look yeah seven blocks in total uh, because of the slabs that stick out of it um, but yeah if you could include the sail you get a couple extra blocks just on one side which is the uh, the thing with schooners it is 25 blocks high. It doesn't really matter that much with ships, but just in case you have any bridges or anything like that uh, that go, that you want this to go under, you know, you got to keep that in mind, especially. So if you're having this one underneath the water, where are you going to put your water or where are you going to start your blocks if you haven't got something like World Edit like I do, where I build them on the land, whack them in the water. So this one's a little bit uh, different than the normal, the normal kind of ships. Um, because it's got a slab as its first layer, so the, it's actually slabs underneath as the first layer. Again, I want to do quite a few bits different with this one, but uh, in total it is, if you've got your water block like we have here, you'll go one, two, and three blocks, and then it's this upper slab is our starting point, so that's where you'd be, that's where your water is, that's how that will all work out, so we'll get rid of that. So yeah, um, if you do want to build the square, um, which like I was saying earlier, it's 23 blocks long and nine blocks wide, you can do. This one is off center, so it's not perfectly center. So if you are building this one docked, that'll give you a kind of idea. As you can see, these slabs are right on the edge of it. So let's call this one, well, this one is the left edge because we're facing forwards. So the left edge of it, that is where it's closest to it. Um, so because of that, it is not in the center. So normally my ships, um, you know, you'd have a box, it'd be dead center of that box. This one isn't, so it's one, two, three, and four blocks over. Um, and then from there, it'll be a couple blocks back, as you can see from here. So if I plonk these down, you kind of get an idea of where everything's lining up. That is the nine blocks going back to it, but we'll do that on the first layer. But then you can kind of figure out from there. So say if you wanted to have it, uh, you had a wall right I don't know, here, something like that. That's four blocks back, but that would then give you a nice one block back uh, block uh, kind of placement from there. If you wanted to do something like that, I don't know, it's totally up to you. But that is it for the little introduction section on just width and height and all of that kind of stuff. Um, what we'll do now is we're actually going to grab a couple of the materials because we need to do it and I will forget otherwise. So if you grab yourself an oak slab, also an oak stair and an oak block, and then do the same with a spruce slab, stair and plank block, and also an oak fence, that will get us started for the next first couple layers and I'll talk you through guys uh, talk you guys through how we'll do all of that now for layer one what we're going to do is if you've already got your box all built which is really good we'll go from the side here we're going to go one two three and four we're going to place a block directly on that fourth one then we're going to have a nine block get back a nine block gap going back there we go that's a tongue twister so one two three four five six seven eight nine like that Grab your oak slabs, and what we're going to do right here is we're going to have three oak slabs on the upper, one, two, three, then go out with three oak slabs, so we just go out to the side here diagonally, one, two, three, then we move inwards diagonally, and this is going to be six back, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now all we do is we just do the same on the other side, and we just fill that in there like that. And that is all we're going to have for layer number one. Just remember that this one is offset on purpose. So, um, yeah, it seems really weird because you're like, it should be there. But it's not. It's because of the uh, because of the sail and that's just how it fits into the box. But that's it for layer number one. For layer number two, what we're going to do is from kind of where we were before, uh, we're going to be one 
block forwards, just place a full block of your oak uh, planks block there and put a slab on the upper piece in front of that. Put a slab on the side of these on the upper. Then we're going to have two blocks, one and two behind that, just directly behind it with your oak planks. And now what we'll do is we are actually going to have an oak slab coming out on the side here, like that. And we're going to have five oak stairs upside down. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. Now we can either put in just a slab here or you can put in a block. It's totally up to you. It really depends. It's the same with this one as well. You can either put in a, you, know, you can put a slab in if you want to, or you can put in a block. Um, I tend to put in blocks pure, purely because you can put stuff on blocks, but sometimes when you're trying to get in and out of, of different bits of the ship or you want to make look, it look, it look smoother, then, um, then that works better. Right, so anyway, oak slab on the back of that stair that we've got there. We're then going to move inwards and we're going to have a block. Just go di diagonally from that slab that we've got there. Just got a block there. Then we're going to have a oak slab, just on the upper piece there. Right behind this, we're just going to have an oak plank block. We're then going to have an oak fence, then an oak plank block, like that. And again, with these bits that we're filling in, can either go slabs or you can go blocks. I'm going to go blocks. So if we do the same on the other side now, we'll have two blocks. Well, actually, let's go three blocks. Let's go all the way back. So one, two, and three blocks there, like that. We're then on this one here. Not that one. This one we're going to have an upper slab. Then we can have five stairs. One, two, three, four, four, and five. Oak slab on the side of that one. Then diagonally we're going to have that block like that. And then we're going to have a slab on the upper piece right there. And then just fill in these two like that. And that is it for layer number two. Layer number three, what we're going to do is go right to the front where you were before. And we're going to place an oak planks block directly on top of the last layer. Put an oak stair on front of that, upside down, like that. Now we're going to switch over to our spruce. So with this one, I've got quite a lot of alternating oak and spruce and oak and spruce. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit, bit complicated at times, but it'll be fine. So what we're going to do here is going to have an upside down stair right on the side of that oak plank block. Behind that, we'll have an oak plank uh, block. Not oak plank, spruce plank block. Then we're going to have a spruce slab on the side of that one going out. Now we're going to have nine blocks of spruce planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That should just be one block over the last, so it's just overhanging. Then we have a spruce stair upside down on the back of that one. Switch back to your oak. We're going to have an oak planks block right there. Then an oak stair upside down there. Then an oak plank block. And then a normal oak stair on the rudder just to finish that piece up. So it's quite complex, the shape on this one. Um, but I quite like it. I really like how it looks. So the same on the other side. What we're going to do is switch to our spruce stair. Have an upside down spruce stair on the side of that oak plank block. We're then going to have a spruce plank block behind that one. A spruce slab right on the side of that on the upper side of it. Nine blocks of spruce planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to have a spruce stair upside down, just on the back of that one. Switch back to your oak. We're going to have an oak plank block right in the back there. Then have an oak stair right in the back piece there like that, upside down. You can, of course, switch these out for, um, you know, slabs and things if you want to. It's easier to do it like at this stage than it is later down the line. But it really is up to you. I mean, like like this block here kind of now doesn't make any sense if that one's you know there or, or whatever. But um, you know, this is why you know I, I've been going with planks. I just kind of like prefer being able to put stuff on it. But uh, that's it anyway for layer number three. And for layer number four, what we're going to do is go to the front and place a spruce planks block this time on front of or on top of, shall I say, the uh, the last layer. We're then going to go forwards with a spruce stair, upside down spruce stair. Upside down spruce stair on the side of that block. We're then going to have a spruce planks block right behind that one. Now with your oak stairs, upside down oak stair. We're now going to have nine oak plank blocks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So two short of the end. Then we're going to have two spruce plank blocks. One, two. Then an upside down spruce stair. Then we're going to have three spruce plank blocks going across the back of that there. Then we'll do it on the other side as well. So nice and easy, really. So we've got the spruce stair upside down here. Spruce planks block behind that. 
switch over to your oak. You're going to have an oak, oak stair there. Nine blocks of oak planks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two blocks of spruce planks. One, two. And then an upside down spruce stair block just there like that. That is it for layer number four. And for layer number five, what we're going to do is right on top of the last layer, grab your oak planks and place a block directly on top of the last. Place it the same on this spruce stair that you got there. So both of those have those on that bit. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. Uh, with our spruce planks, we're going to have 10. This is actually going to be on top of the last layer as well. So we're going to have 10 going back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So stay at the front still. We're actually going to need a couple of new uh, blocks. We're going to need acacia slab and also dark oak slab. So if you're acacia slab, we're going to have an upper over here, right in that gap there. Then we're going to have a lower, and then we're going to have an upper like that. So it's just alternating on this part. It's all part of this kind of like bowsprit fancier looking part of it. We're then going to have a block gap, and then we're going to have two blocks of uh, dark oak. So this is just for where the shrouds go on for the main mast. There's only It's only on that one. It's not on the back one for this one anyway. Right, when we get around to the uh, back of the ship, what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of oak planks right on here. Then we're going to have an oak stair, this time normal. Then we're going to have a uh, spruce plank like that. So I'm just going to place those on there. So we've got a spruce plank there. We've got the oak slab there. With our spruce stairs, we're going to actually have them right on the back of this spruce block that we've got here. We're going to have that one going in the side there. Then we'll do the wrap around here. So this is all part of this cabin. It's all underneath this cabin part here. So that's what we're going to have there. Then with our acacia slabs, we're going to have an upper acacia slab right here, right in this little corner. Leave this one. Then we're going to have an upper one on this oak planks block. Then we're going to go lower, upper, and then lower. So we're just going to have a little bit of a pattern there. And you can kind of see it here, how it how it ends up looking like it's making its way down. That's kind of what we're doing. So we've got this upper one here. Leave the next one. We're going to go up, down, up, down like that right there so there we go guys that is it for layer number five so for layer number six before we get onto it we're going to actually just finish off layer number five by mirroring the front because i completely forgot so we've got the uh acacia slab on the upper piece there lower one then an upper one leave a gap then we're gonna have two blocks of dark oak slab it's really weird i just noticed it as soon as i finished i was like ah oh, damn it forgot but it is what it is so we're still going to need our acacia slab, uh, but we're actually also going to need warped fence and warped fence gate for the next uh, kind of bits and bobs. Grab your spruce, spruce planks. We're going to place a block directly on top of the last layer. We're then going to have an upside down oak stair right on the front here like that. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to have three blocks of spruce going across like that. Okay. Then we're going to have a block of spruce on top of the last spruce layer. We're going to have two blocks of oak planks, then three blocks of oak slab, then an oak plank block. Then we're going to have an oak stair looking to the, towards the front of the ship. Switch to your spruce. We're going to have that looking towards the middle of the ship. And we're going to have another spruce stair looking towards the back of the ship just to wrap it all around. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a block of spruce planks behind this, just on that piece there. We're going to have another spruce stair looking towards the front of the ship. Then on here, we're going to have a spruce stair looking towards the front. Then we're going to have this wrap around, and then this is actually going to go, um, I believe it goes out. Let's have a look. Nope, it's still just on top, so it's just those two. I wasn't totally sure from the, from the picture that I've got, so those two just go into there like that, which means we have a spruce plank block behind it like that, or you can have a slab um, on the upper piece if you wanted to as well. Either way works, no problem at all. Right, so let's... Um, Let's do this crazy thing on the other side as well. So we've got a spruce plank block directly on top of the last layer, just like we did uh, on that side there. Two blocks of oak planks. We're going to have three blocks of oak slab. One block of oak planks. Oak stair, normal, facing towards the front of the ship. Spruce stair facing towards the middle of the ship. And a spruce stair facing towards the back of the ship. One block of spruce planks behind that. Then what we're going to do is we've got i'm trying to look at this ah it's a stair there we go and then we've got a normal stair <laughs> spruce stair then right here we've got a spruce stair looking towards there then wrapping it around to the middle 
and we put in a spruce slab right on that piece there. We don't actually have anything on the back at all. It's, um, that's where the window goes. So it's really, really small on this one. It's just, that's it. That's the window. So you can put like a trapdoor or something on the inside, you know, no problem at all. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Right, if we go to the front, we're now going to do the little detail parts. So grab your acacia slab. Going to have an upper acacia slab against the uh, upside down oak stair that we've got at the front. Then a lower acacia slab. Now we're going to have our warped fence. It's going to be in this little gap here. Warped fence gate is going to be on the side here and then punch that one through. Then we're going to have an acacia slab right here on the upper piece. Then we're going to have a lower one there, so it kind of like joins these two together, then we get little bits of this colourful detail uh, in there. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we've got upper, then lower. Then we got a warped fence, warped fence gate, and punch that one in, so it's touching, well, kind of touching, I know it doesn't touch, but you know what I mean. Right there, upper oak uh, acacia slab, then a lower acacia slab right there like that. Now if we get around to the other side and onto the back part of it, we're actually going to start with the back because it's probably going to be easy to work from. Lower acacia slab here, then we're going to have an upper, then we're going to have a lower, like that. Then right here, we're going to have an upper acacia slab, then a lower acacia slab, so the lower acacia slab goes on top of that stair that we've got there. We're now going to have a warped fence gate and we're going to punch that one in. We're going to have an upper acacia slab. And then we're going to have a fence, uh, warped fence piece in there. You can kind of start to see the pattern going around. Uh, it's a lot easier to build these when I'm just building it because it's completely random. <laughs> but actually trying to remember it all uh, is really difficult. So on the other side anyway, we're going to have an upper right here. Then we're going to have a lower, which is on top of that oak stair. Then what we're going to do is have warped fence gate and punch that one in. Then we're going to have a lower acacia slab. Then we're going to have a warped fence, just like that, and look, that even lines up. So if you did, yeah, want to do something for a window, you could, yeah, put in a, put in like a trapdoor. It doesn't have to be oak. I mean, it could be, could be uh, any other colours. That might give you a little bit of a better kind of look, uh, or you can just have the whole thing open like I've got it. Uh, I don't know. don't know what's best. It's totally up to you guys and what you want, really, because it's very, very small. But, uh... That's it guys for layer number six. Now for layer number seven, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do this a little bit different just because of where everything is, it kind of gets quite complicated. So we've got these two oak uh, plank blocks. We're just gonna, just gonna leave one, put a normal oak stair first, going towards the, looking towards the front, another one looking towards the back on that one, and then another one on top of the spruce block that we've got here. So do the same on all the sides here. It's just a lot easier to do it this way. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have our spruce slab. And with our spruce slab, we're going to have one on the lower piece here. Then we're going to have one on the upper piece, just here. This is all part of the bowsprit, which is that piece there. We're then going to have on the front um, an acacia slab on the lower. So it's right there. It just finishes up that piece. And a warped fence is going to be directly on top of these two here like that. Then we're going to have an upper acacia slab behind these two in that little gap there. We're going to have a lower one, which just goes on top of the fence piece there. Another one, which just goes on top of the uh, warped fence gate there as well. So there we go. So we get one there, one there like that. And that then gives you that kind of style thing going on, uh, which looks pretty cool. So for the back, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the oak plank block we're going to actually go on top of this oak stair that we had here and put an oak slab. We're then going to have, so just put a block in there, an upside down oak stair block here. And another one here like this, just to make a little, little archway going across that bit. Let's do the same on the other side as well. It'll save us, or potentially save us a little bit of time. I'd say that, it probably doesn't do anything different at all. Um, but yeah, we'll have those two there like that. Then with a spruce plank, we're going to have a spruce plank block on top of the last bit here. Then we're going to move inwards and we're going to have, right on top of this one, we're going to have an oak plank block. Then we're going to have a spruce plank block on top of that one. Then we're going to have a spruce stair going this way. On top of this, we're going to have a spruce block. Then we've got that spruce stair. So we've got a block. We've got the oak block and we've got the spruce plank block. So this all looks 
kind of crazy, but it's all to try and make it look quite interesting. As you can see, you get these little little gaps and things going on. Um, but yeah, it, it does make it quite complicated, I find. <laughs> so I don't know why I did it so, so complicated, but it is what it is. Um, right, so we're going to need to grab a warp trapped, uh, warped fence gate. Gonna have that on the back, right at the top, and punch that one in. We're then going to have a lower acacia slab on either side of it. Right here, this block that we got here, we can put a warped fence on there. Then we're going to have an acacia slab on the lower piece here, and then an upper piece. Still on the upper piece here, and then we go to a lower piece there like that. So it just kind of works its way up and over like that. Right, so same on the other side, we've got the warped fence just on top of that last one there. Then we've got a lower acacia slab, upper acacia slab, upper acacia slab, and lower acacia slab. So it's on top of that warped fence piece that we put in like that. So we're now going to put in the um, actual deck part of this. So we're going to put that in now. Uh, and that will also mean where we've got the mast as well. It will kind of sort that, that stuff out. So I think what we'll do is we'll start from the front. Uh, right here, we're going to have a lower slab in here. Like that. And that's going to be our, our spruce. We're also going to need jungle slab. So we're going to have a upper jungle slab on either side of this. So the boat sprit, I like to carry it all the way through the ship until it hits, hits the mast. Um, it's just what I do. It's up to you guys if you want to do the same. Uh, we're then going to have a lower jungle slab piece going all the way across then one on either side of this this little gap here is actually where we're going to have a ladder and stuff in a second so because of that we can actually move over one block to where we get to here put in uh, stripped spruce wood then I put on a composter on this part of it here um, and that is where we're going to have this going down so we can actually do with to be fair grabbing this we can always grab all this other stuff again so we'll grab a uh, spruce trapdoor um, Let's also grab an oak trapdoor and a ladder as well, so we actually get in to the whole thing. So we put the spruce trapdoor on here, knock that in, and then we can have the ladder going down here like that. Um, you might want to fill in this gap because th that block, because it, it's not really used for anything. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do on my interior. I haven't done the interior for mine yet, so <laughs> yeah, I'll probably end up doing that because otherwise it's just it's just a wasted block. So there we go. Have that in there. That's good. All looks good. Right, so back onto your jungle slabs. We're now going to have these on the upper going down again. And we'll go one, two, and three on the sides of these. So one, two, three. With our oak trap doors, we're going to have this over the top of this. So I like to have them like that. That's just a way to get your cargo in. So cool. Right on the mid part of this one, so the middle of it, we're still going to have that upper slab there. We're now going to start moving backwards. So we've got the, well, we're obviously moving backwards all the way through, but you know what I mean. Um, maybe, I don't know, moving upwards. Moving upwards, that's what I actually meant to say. Right, so right here we're going to have uh, lower slabs. And we're just going to go around that, like that. And then right in the middle, add an extra slab in. Then we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to have two on the next part of it, going around. But actually this mid one, we don't need to place anything there. That is where we're going to have a composter. So we can then bring stripped spruce wood all the way down and again you can fill that block in if you wanted to uh, I probably would because it's gonna be a cabin anyway so you kind of want to have things there I'm probably gonna put the slabs in there um, you know always have a look at it as you go in because it'll it'll help definitely um, you can put a stripped spruce wood I don't think we have so let's let's not on any of the, either of those we'll just keep the composters to keep it simple so we've got that in there like that what we're now going to do is we are going to have a slab on the lower piece either side of this we're going to actually let's finish up this this first but we'll have another one there and then the last one is up there like that we're going to need a jungle stair okay and that stair is going to be in the back piece here like that and on top of that we're going to put a grindstone which is going to be our wheel this one is a little bit cramped um, you can't really walk around it so this is where we've got the wheel so you'd have to kind of jump to actually get behind it uh, but you know in real life you could well, you probably couldn't squeeze that gap, but you know what I mean. It's it's the principle behind the thing. <laughs> you know, it'd be fine. It's less blockier in real life, but, you know, that's where I've put mine. My wheel, it kind of works quite nicely, I find. Um, but, guys, yeah, that is it, at least, for that layer. And now for layer number eight, what we're going to do is we're going to need to grab uh, an oak slab. Place that on top of the stair that you've got here. 
add onto the next stair. Then we're going to have this one over the top as an upper. So what this ends up looking like is as if you've got upside down oak stairs. It's a nice little visual trick that I like to use. It just it just kind of looks really good for, for stuff in general. So it's always good to use that. Right, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to have a acacia slab on top of the warped stair. And we're also going to have a lower spruce slab and then an upper spruce slab here like that. I don't know how many more we've got to do for that. So we've got one, two, three, four. So let's, might as well do that. So is that from that point? Yeah, one, two. Let's do another two. So we've got one and two there. So it's just this one here. I need to get to that bit. There we go. So whack those in because then that front part is all done now. So what we'll do from the back is we're going to have our oak slabs again. And we're going to leave this one here, have an oak slab, another oak slab. Then we're going to have an upside down oak stair, and another upside down oak stair, like that. Then we're going to have an oak plank block on top of these ones. So we get oak stair, and an oak stair like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a block that I haven't got, which is a spruce planks block. Put that on top of the warped uh, stair gate that we've got there. And then we're going to have a slab coming out from that, the uh, spruce slab just coming out from that. We're going to have an acacia slab on the top of these ones, on top of that one, on top of that one, on the on the upper part of the side of that block. That's what I was trying to say. Then we're going to have two lowers on there, so it goes over that stair and just goes back like that. So these two go in there. It does block the little gap that you've got for one of these, but overall it kind of gives it a really quite um, nice look, I find, so... Anyway guys, that is it for layer number 8. And now we're just going to finish up the back of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an oak slab. We're just going to have that not on the first stair, but the second one. That's the one that's kind of like hidden. So place an oak slab there. We're going to have an oak stair. This is going to be upside down and facing outwards. So we'll do the same on the other side. Get that stair in there. And a slab down the bottom there. With an anvil, we can place that down. It turns out I didn't realize this. I've actually got it floating on a slab. So it's up to you if you wanted a, a slab in here or, or a block. Uh, I think it looks a little bit weird. So I'm quite happy with the block, uh, if I'm honest. But it's up to you guys, you know. It's as much your build as it is mine. So then just go over the top of this with an oak slab like that. And that, guys, finishes up this little build. You get this nice little area here. It's a bit strange. But it uh, looks all good. But that is at least it for the hole. So what we're going to be doing now is uh, building up the masts, doing the sails, doing the rigging, all of that stuff we'll get onto and uh, and we'll be done with the whole build. So for the masts, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stripped spruce wood and where we've got the composter uh, right at the front, this is going to be the, obviously the front mast. Actually, it's the main mast as well, but front ma mast, main mast, and we've got the back one over well, there. Um, we're going to add seven blocks on top of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're then going to have another composter, then bring that forwards. So we've got two right next to each other. We're going to have another seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two blocks of granite wall on top of that, and two blocks of spruce fence on top of that. So there you go, that's the main mast. We're then going to need to grab a spruce trapdoor, and we're going to place that over the... Uh, over the composter just to close that up. You can also use barrels, it's totally up to you guys. I've been liking the composters lately. Um, we're gonna put a ladder on the back of this one so we at least have a way to get up there. There isn't like any crow's nest or anything like that with this one. You, you can put one in if you wanted to, no problem at all. It's totally up to you really. Right, so for the bast back one here, we're gonna have six blocks on top of the composter that we've already got. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. A composter on top of that. Bring that forwards with another composter. Another six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two blocks of granite wall on top of that. And two blocks of spruce fence on top of that. And again, with your spruce trapdoor, just put that on top of that composter to block it up. You can put a uh, ladder on the back of this one as well. Uh, I haven't. It just looked a bit weird, I think, with the, <laughs> with the wheel being there. And then you can't really jump onto it anyway for for survival. Well, actually... Yeah, you can if you do that kind of jump, but you know, it, it just doesn't for me. It didn't make any sense to do that, so that's why I uh, why I didn't. Right. So if you go right to the front where we've got the bowsprit, we're gonna uh, grab a oak fence. 
We can either do this, well, we can do this two ways. We can either have it joined up or we can just have it um, as I've got it like here where we've just got the blank ones. Either way, we're actually gonna do do both ways um, because it's just easier. So if you place a oak fence on top of that one, go back, then go up, then go back, then go up, then go back, then go up, then back and up and back. So we end up doing this anyway. And then up, that's what you get if you want it all fully joined up. Or if you want it the same, we can then just knock out the bottom of those. So the last one there, and you'll get that kind of a pattern going on like that. Next bit, just one block down from the front mast, we're gonna have three blocks of fence. One, two, three, and then go down two and three like that, and that will join that in there. You can also do this with um, with fence gates, so you have two fence gates there, three fence gates up on the top, or three fence gates at the bottom and two on the top. Totally up to you what you want to do with that. I've just gone with that, it, I just think it looks okay, it looks absolutely fine. Um, what we'll do on the back now is, just above the trapdoor, we're going to place in an oak fence, and now we can't go back there this time, but we can place another oak fence there, then back, then out. Or down, then out, shall I say? Down, then back. Down, then back. I think that sounds right. And then down like that. And then just knock those ones out. This one, really, you are going to end up doing something like that. But it'll end up, um, actually, it'll end up being right on top of that one. So it goes on top of the uh, on top of the anvil and on top of that one. Always got to get an anvil on these ships. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> but I always end up doing that. Right, so we're going to put in the mast parts for the uh, schooner type sails, the big, the big triangular sails. Uh, the first one of these is going to be six blocks down, so from the front mast, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is where we're going to place a spruce stair. Can have that going forwards as well. Now, I want to double check. Yeah, it goes down again. So this one will go down again. And also at the back as well, so get that there. Like that, so we've got a set of four. We're then going to go in towards the center and move it out. So go one, two, three, and four like that. So you end up with this kind of like angled thing going on here. And we do the same for going back as well. So we have another four. So one, two, three, four. Like that. And then I do have to have a look because I forgot it sets a freeze and it's against that. That's nice and easy, isn't it? There we go. So this front uh, compost that we got here, we go one, then two, and then three, like that. And then we're going out to the side. One, one, two, and three. And then once more, one, two, three. Like that, there we go. Nice and simple, really. But that, guys, is it for at least the uh, the mast side of it. What we'll do now is we'll probably do the rigging first. Um, will we or won't we? No, we won't do the rigging first. We'll do the sails first, then the rigging, because of how it all ends up melding in together. And now for the sails, what we'll do, guys, is we're going to start with the front. Uh, we'll do them. I'll show you the tied up kind of version of it. Um, the tied up version is very simple. So what we end up doing is we end up pushing this back by one block. I'm using a uh, white wall. I should have probably said that. Uh, with this one, we end up pushing that one forwards, but that's fine. So we end up doing something like this. Uh, that one needs to go forwards. And then you might end up having a couple extra blocks, perhaps, going forwards like that. So you end up having it where it looks like it's tied. You could end up... Yeah, bring that down further. It's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, let's bring that down to there, and then leave it like that. So that's what you could do if you want to have it tied up, and you can do the similar kind of thing for the other one. It might be like you do that potentially, something like that would do. So that's that's basically how you do it, nice and simple. Um, if you want to do it the other way, um, what I ended up doing with this one is having most of the blocks coming forwards. Do I just get rid of these? or not really forwards on the same same starting point as the rest of them. Still have everything angled, it's just that you end up going like this. Uh, and then you want to have a nice shape going down to here. Now this one doesn't have like a, uh, the slabs that I usually have on the side. I wanted to do something different and make it look a little bit more free. Um, so that's what I ended up doing with this one. But we'll add in a couple extra blocks. Let's move down 
because it's organics, what we want to try and do is make it look more organic. So you end up having to, to like join these up. Uh, yep, let's go there, get down, down to there, move down to there, go to there, put that one in there. You know, you start doing, you start trying to make like little shapes um, and you just kind of go with what looks pretty good. Um, you end up tweaking it lots. So all I'm doing at the minute is just trying to make like circular like shapes uh, in with this. So I might actually knock that back. Don't have this here. Right. So let's have a look at that. There we go. That's looking a little bit. Actually, it's looking all right. Um, I'm actually surprised, but uh, it's good. And then we'll probably, I think I went out with this one. Yeah, so I went out with like by one block out further. So we'll do something similar here where we go out. We can then also knock out a couple of them here. I'm actually going to knock it out lower. So that gets another bit of a, a kind of interesting look to the whole thing. Put a block there perhaps. Alright, and maybe even go to there. If we bring this all the way down to here, let's go down there and let's actually pin it back. So let's push that one back. So it looks like we've got a couple blocks pushed back there. We can then do something like this. There. Let's try this. I know I said I'd push those ones down, but I've actually ended up doing some something slightly different. There we go. That looks good. So the only change I'll do is that block there. So there we go. That actually looks... I think that might look better than the other one. Yeah, I think I think the new one that I've done looks better than the other one. My old one. This is the thing with organics and with, with sales in general. All you're really trying to do is make it look like the wind is blowing. A lot of the stuff that we do, um, you know, like the mast being forwards and also the... Uh, actual mass itself being offset really helps with this because it forces you to do that. We're trying to make it look like the wind is blowing this way and it's being getting caught. So you end up, you know, having these bits where it's pushed out. But remember, you've got like ropes and things. So then you have to go kind of have these pull points. Um, you might have a block there actually to finish that bit up. Yeah, that looks really cool. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. On the not really the other side, the uh, the back one. So similar kind of thing, or exactly the same kind of thing, really. Obviously, this one's like a little bit in the back, so we've got to be aware of that when we're making it. But it shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too bad. So I end up having that going down there. That goes down to there. It doesn't really matter if they touch at all, because at the end of the day, it's Minecraft. It's very blocky. It's always going to be blocky. There's not really much we can do about that. We might have like that there. Okay, and. Let's let's go out again. To there and also bulk this up a little bit. So I'll do that kind of pushing out to there part of it. Oh, this one doesn't look as good at all. So I think what I'm going to end up doing with this one is having a couple blocks back a tiny bit. That's a square square bit there. We'll get rid of that. All right. A little bit better and then right down to here let's start pushing this in now and also go down there we go so that one i would say doesn't look as good as my other one but i couldn't tell you why i think there's just little Little bits on it that just don't quite work as well. It might just be that I need to put in some extra blocks here or something. Um, yeah, that looks all right. I think this is this is also part of it. And it's just that bit's a little bit too out. That's better. That's better. There we go. So it looks slightly better. It's still not perfect at all, but. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be. At the end of the day, this is these are sales. These aren't. Um, these don't have to be perfect at all. Not even in the slightest. So I have something like that. That looks a little bit better. There we go. Not too bad. So that's how you would do sales. Actually, 
it looks better than the other one. So, I don't know what, I must have been having a bad sale day with this one. I mean, either, either way, they look fine. They look like sails, they look like the wind's caught them. Um, it's just, I think these ones look a little bit more natural and I don't really know the reason why. I couldn't tell you. Um, I think it's just the, the way that the shape has worked is a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I know these parts of the tutorial are very much like, very free, very like, you kind of got to do it as you do it kind of stuff. Um, doing a block by block on this is too, too difficult. Um, definitely because it's always more organic and everything kind of is different each time you do it really. So something like that. I don't think actually that looks better. I think it looks worse, but you know, you can over tweak. So there we go. Let's put in a block there. Like that. So you try and get it to catch the wind. You could try and put in a sail on the front part of this. I didn't because there was already quite a lot of sail with this big mast. Um, but you could end up doing it on the front. You could do a jib if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. So the last bit we're going to be doing, guys, is um, is actually putting in the shrouds for this one. So let's get onto that. So for the shrouds, what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to start on the side where we haven't got the sails because it's much easier to see and much easier to do. We've already put down two of our dark oak uh, blocks. We actually missed one on here, which is going to be where we've got this upside down oak stair. That's where we're going to have one. So for our side, our side, it's actually going to be potentially not even there. Yeah, it's got blocks on it, so we can't even do that. So, don't know how I got through that if I couldn't get through it on the other side. So that's why we're going to have that there. If you have, depending on how you've done your sail, then you might have it there as well. So we have birch fence, put two fence pieces there, two on top of that, one behind on the backmost, so in the backmost here, have one on top of the front one, and then going to join these together, so we've got two on the back there like that, another two on top of that there, we're going to do the same where we have the back one has an extra uh, one on the back, and the front one has an extra one on the front, and again join those two together like that, another two on top, then we have three fence pieces going up. So we'll try and do the same on the other side. It, with the sail, just ignore it. Just ignore it. So you go two on there, two on there like that. We're going to have the backmost one is going to have an extra one. This one is going to have an extra one there. Now this is where it gets complicated because you've got to imagine where stuff is going. So for this one, we've got two going on the back there. So there'll be a fence there and a fence there. Yours is going to be different. So sorry, guys. But it is what it is. An extra one there. This back one has it. Back one there. We're going to have these two going, oops, going that way. And then an extra two. And then we go up as much as we can. So yeah, just ignore where the sail is. You can say, oh no, actually the shroud should take precedence over the sail. I don't think they do. I really don't. So you just make it work how you want it to work. You'll still get the same kind of effect because you'll be able to see it from, you know, the side. You can see bits of fence, you might go, actually, no, I don't want that one. I want it to have it like completely hidden. That's totally cool as well. It's totally up to you. Uh, with this one, see mine's all somehow underneath. So I think the, my sail went out and got pushed out a little bit more earlier or, or down the bottom, which meant it missed it. But um, the way that your sails happen is the way that your sails happens. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I have just noticed that we're missing a slab here. So amazing, isn't it? Two slabs, actually. In fact, two oak slabs. So I must have missed that when uh, when we're doing it. God, terrible. Um, so anyway, birch fence for the for the back piece. Where we've got that slab that we put in there, we go one and we go two. So we have one over this lower cager. Another two on top of that. Then on the back, we have one in the back there. On the front, we've got one on the front there. Join these two up, one and two. And then another two, one, two, another one on the back, and another one on the front. You'll see this kind of like pattern that we're doing now. And then we have two to join those two up there like that. Now what we'll do is have another two. And now we're going to go one, two, and three. And that's where we go to. Actually, that's wrong. It's one, two. So it's three in total, two, three there, including this one that we got on the side. So there we go. So it's the same level as this one. Now on the other side, we're going to just... Um, I'm going to really struggle with this one. So I've got one, two there. I've got another two here. One on the back there. That's where I'm actually going to get my start, as well as that one there. Um, this one has an extra one on it, and then goes back. This one has one there. 
And there. <laughs> this is so crazy and difficult. Um, and then we got those going up there, which means we only really get these two here. So there we go. <laughs> Just put in what you can. It doesn't really matter. If you if it's not matching exactly the same, there is going to be no one in the world that will notice, you know, unless somebody's looking at it in particular. But there we go, guys. That is the kind of caravel schooner thing that I made. Um, which is just a caravel because of this raised bit at the back, really. That's the kind of shape that I was trying to do off of a, a much smaller ship, um, really. That's the, that's the main kind of focus of this one. Right, so I'll show you guys what I've done with the interior, and then we're done. All right, so here I am on my shipyard because I haven't put this one in, well, Lord's Port yet, but it will be going there at some point. So I've not really done too much with the kind of uh, upper parts of it at all. It's all exactly the same. Uh, there is, however, a nice little chimney because we've got a little furnace down the bottom to cook some food. So it's using the smoker, um, a, bla a polished blackstone wall, and also a flower pot just in front of the secondary mast. What I've got in the hold is because it's not that big. Uh, I mean, it is quite big, but it's not. It's not huge. Um, bits of rope uh, using the birch stuff. We've got uh, lots of pistons and crafting tables and got some barrels with some for some water or, or some, some sort of goods that are being transported. Um, there's quite a big ceiling, so because of that I put in a couple shelves. Um, right in the back here we've got a nice little table. Uh, we've got some of the sea cucumbers as our kind of like tankards. Nice little area to um, to sit down and eat. Um, obviously crew, I don't know where they're going to go, but uh, I would kind of imagine... To be fair, I should have really done this, shouldn't I? Yeah. Where are the crew going to go? Um, let's go for, you know, we have some bits of cloth and things like that up around here. Obviously, this was all, all in here before you guys saw it. Uh, so they would have their hammocks, you know, hanging up around these bits in in here. Um, blast furnace, because I just prefer the look of it to the to the furnace. I don't know if it's just because it's still quite new. I know it's like been out for a couple of years or whatever, but it's still quite new. It still looks quite new as a block, so we've got that. Uh, in the back, we've got the cabin. <laughs> it's tiny. Um, one of the changes that I've done to it is I actually ended up using... I can't really delete that, can I? Because it'll, it'll ping off. That's rubbish, isn't it? That's not going to work. Um, well, that's fine. So I ended up switching this block out here to an upside down stair in order to give it a little bit more uh, room. Let me put that flower pot back because I'll never put it back otherwise and it will just be forever never there. Um, so to put in a little desk, got a little um, thingamajiggy bed bed there, a little bookcase, a uh, bit of parchment. Um, put in some stairs here, so these stairs just to make it look a little bit bigger, and I ended up putting in a warped trapdoor in the end, um, like that. And again, because the roofs are quite, or well, ceiling is quite big, you can actually put in quite a bit of storage uh, up in chests and things, so that's pretty cool, I think, uh, definitely. So it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I'll show you what goes, what it looks like on the outside for that trapdoor. I quite like the look of it. I think it works, because we've got all the, all the warped kind of wood, uh, you know, the fences and fence gates, it kind of works to then finish that part of it off. And I know I've done similar things with um, with the same um, set of these, you know, like this one's got a warped, warped one and the bigger one I've used the warped. So it kind of ties those three ships together as if they're like, you know, same kind of design or, or something like that, you know, with the same colours and everything. But anyway, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.